All right, everyone, here we go. Welcome to Soulmate Journey Update. Oh, boy, I'm just leaning back here. We got one deck for the DF and one deck for the DM. I'm using the usual decks here. Let's see where we go. Hmm? I don't know where we're at right now. I mean, I kind of do, I suppose, based on a lot of stuff that's going on. Mars and Leo is going to make things very interesting. Um, I don't know. Let's see where we're at. Let's shuffle for the DF. It's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here, you found Steve Love Terry here for a reason. This reading is timeless. Whenever you find it, you're meant to find it. Okay? All right. All bets are off here. Let's see where we're at for the DF side. You ready? I'm ready. Remember, I'm not a fucking time lord. You're all moving at different speeds on your timeline. There's a whole playlist of these. So if it's not, if you're like, it's not me. Okay, well then go find something in the playlist. The Soulmate Journey playlist that is. You're further back maybe. Or we're not caught up to you yet. That's possible too. Eight Pentacles crossing energy. The environmental energy around the DF is eight Pentacles. I'm drawn more to the spider web aspect and that hasn't happened for a while. Right? I don't know. Let's see what's 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 the base energy. Ten wands. Yep, I'm right. I'm right. Look, isn't it kind of spider webby? Right? Look. Yeah. Some spiders do webs like that, and some of them do nice, neat ones like that. All right? This energy is trapped. Feels trapped by you. Yeah, well, it is. The, it's that reading. That's the context of the reading. I got you, and I got somebody else. It's a you versus them. Some kids call it that. You know, I don't know. It's DF and DM. It's a soulmate journey. This energy is trapped in your web and it's getting to be a bit of a burden for you, not them. Okay? I'm in this energy. I'll teach you how to maybe, or help you, not have that be the case. Let's grab the little animal deck. See if we can't Nine of Pentacles liberate you from it. Let's see. How about that, huh? What a coinky dink. Right? Ain't no such thing as coincidences. What's going on with the Ten of Wands here? Somebody, this side is caught in your web. Sometimes, though, if you have a very attractive energy, okay, sometimes you get a lot of stuff caught in your web, and it gets heavy. The web gets heavy. If you were, if you were a very successful spider and built a web in just the right place, that sucker would fill up fast. And that can be a bit of a burden. It can be a bit too much. It's like, oh, shit. If one fly gets trapped in there, I just have to eat that and it's all clean. Now I gotta clean this motherfucker. I can't eat all these flies and there's no room for a freezer here. You know, it's a bit of that. Um, I don't think it's multiple flies in this case. I think there's a big old bug caught in your web, caught in your energy field, and it's getting heavy for you. It's getting a bit much. Your vibration is raising, this vibration is not. You wanna move on, but you can't get the fucking energy out of your trunk. You're still almost, for some of you, you're just curious. What's this energy going to do? And you don't want to leave because you're this far in. Right? People, all people, everybody. Whether you're in business or whether it's your life, you always have to understand the concept of sunk cost. Know when to fold them. I'll give it to you as Kenny Rogers would. You got to know when to fold them, know when to hold them, know when to walk away, and know when to fucking run. Right? But you, you know, that's sort of what this is here. Sometimes, well, I wonder what's going to happen with that, but why is the Ten of Wands here? I'm still shuffling. I'm just running out of shit to tell you. Uh, bottom card, crossing the center card, I'm going to pull red, but your spider web is a barn owl, is a page of swords. It's just there. There's some energy that's just there. It's always around you. It, it's always there. It's getting heavy. What's on top? Three of Pentacles. There's, whoever this is, and I don't know who it is. Is it a runner? Or is it a soulmate that's a family member? Or a soulmate that's a friend? I don't know. It's different for all of you. Whoever this is, the idea of starting something with them, a partnership or something like that, is getting worse and worse. Feeling like it's, like it's less of a good idea as time goes on. Yet their energy always seems to be there. All right? It's like a child that never leaves home. Okay? It was fun for the first 18 years, but now it's time for you to get your shit together, motherfucker. You know? You know, that, that's it's basically it's a bit of that. This energy's maybe it's an energy that's hung around too long. I don't know. It's held on to your energy and it's becoming baggage. 
It's the easiest way I can put it. What's the center card? The world. See? The most powerful card I could pull. What did I just say? I just described this as like a child that stayed at home too long. It's 18. You're 18 now, motherfucker. Time to start at least trying to get a life here. Right? It, it is a bit of that. In this, this is a new cycle. A new cycle is beginning. It's time for you to move on from whatever this energy is or get something together with it or talk to it. It's time for something to happen one way or another. And this energy, for, I think for most of you, it's time to release whoever this is. Which may or may not be your original runner, so don't get all disappointed. Well, I came to the tarot reading to see what Joey's doing. I don't give a fuck what Joey's doing. This may not be Joey. This might be another energy that's attached to you. Okay? I mean, don't worry about it. It's there. It won't go away. In this energy, it, it, it needs to go away. The idea of a partnership or a friendship or something with this energy is either becoming less and less appealing or less and less likely. It depends with this Ten of Wands and this Three of Pentacles on top of it. What's red with the Three of Pentacles? The Hermit. Mm. Your energy has grown higher vibration than this one. You are a higher frequency than this one. And I say you because most of my viewers are DF side. And that's what Steve Love Tarot attracts. I don't attract the runners. Huh? You're very high vibration. You got your own ideas about where you want to go. It, again, I give the kid analogy. Nothing wrong with children. Children are terrific. But at some point, they need to go out on their own and get a fucking life, right? Otherwise, they become like that HBO show with the, with the mama's boys. There's one guy, he's 35 years old or some shit. He's still worrying about what his mama thinks. And his mama's coming out on dates with him and stuff. What the fuck, man? Holy crap. Talk about failure to launch. My God. Um, but, you know, gee, I wonder why my relationships keep broken up. Yeah, I wonder why. Hmm. Uh, right here, it is this energy. You're about, you're ready to do something that's very, very high vibration, but you've got this energy that's dragging you down, right? You want to move web, but you can't unpack the web and while this energy is still hanging around. This energy. This is this. It's tied to this. It's a small energy. It's a little page. You're this big, bad hermit, okay? Let's, we'll see. So what's going to happen here? We'll find out. I'm going to pull this energy over here, and then we're going to pull... A final message from the universe and we'll see where it's all kind of going. I will tell you, we got the right shuffle and I'm spot on. I've been talking about this page of swords quite a bit, haven't I? Randomly at the bottom of this deck is a page of swords and I did not know that was there. I believe, I believe they come in your way fueled by a nine of cups. Let's see where we go here. I mean, you definitely are great. It, it is. It's great for the 18-year-old, the 25-year-old or whatever it is. Just making an analogy here. It's great for them. To, to stay down and stay put. Sure, they get free rent. You pay all the bills. You get your laundry done. It's, it's a good deal for the little guy who's now a big guy. It's time to go out on their own. But it's not a good deal for you. And that deal, it's becoming heavy. It's becoming a burden. It's beginning to hold you back from something you really want to do. You're coming into a big era here. Big era of enlightenment, a big era of change, an era where you get to use your high vibration to your advantage. It's time for this energy to release. I think it comes towards you, and I think it might. I think you should pay attention to what I said in the Mars reading. Oh, oh, I definitely do. All right, let's shuffle the deck. Here we go. Give me the DM side. And again, you just have to catch my drift. I know there's somebody watching. I know. I can't control who comes here. I know there's somebody watching who goes, I don't have a kid. I don't know what he's talking about. My God, it's just you just have to catch my drift. It's an energy that's holding on too long, okay? It's caught in your web and it's causing, it's weighing you down, all right? Because you've grown, you've outgrown it. Without even realizing it, you've outgrown it. Sometimes we don't know, you know? You go to your high school, I know some of you are too young. Go to your 25-year or 20-year high school reunion and you'll know exactly what I mean. People, you think, oh, back in high school, oh, I can't wait to see Jimmy Reed. Jimmy Reed back in high school was a big deal. Oh, Jimmy Reed. Oh, fantastic. Oh, gosh, I'm so nervous. You know, so you go and you're all nervous to see Jimmy Reed again after 25 years. You don't even know it. Your vibration has grown. You've passed Jimmy Reed by a fucking mile. Jimmy Reed is now one who was once spectacular. Right? Seems to be shorter than you remember, a lot balder than you remember, and he don't look like he could swing a baseball bat anymore, you know. And he's, he's living in a van down by the river, you know. 
So that person you didn't know, you've been apart from that energy, you had no idea how much you've grown beyond that energy, who at one time was either on your level or slightly above. Happens all the time. Everything is energy, so everything is a, it, it's an, it's a one-to-one -one comparison there. Same type of things happening here. This energy's weighing you down. Maybe your thoughts about it are weighing you down. I don't know. It could be. Whoever it is. I think for a lot of you, this is like some kind of family member you have a soul connection with. A lot of times, you know, hey, if your family's great, it's great. But a lot of times, even a great family will hold you back. You'll stay put in life just because you don't want to be apart from them. You know, so maybe my analogy here isn't too far off. Uh, you can always go back. Go have some adventures. You can always go back later. You know, I mean, it is what it is. We're not meant to just go in a circle. We're not pigeons. We don't fly in a circle and come back to the, you know, to the roost and do the same thing every day. All right, DM. Do what you want to do. I don't care. But I wouldn't trade my adventures for anything. I'll tell you what. Glad I had them when I did. Nine swords at the bottom. Somebody here isn't who you think they are. Okay, I'm just going to say it. This energy isn't who you, this Jimmy Reed. All right, my Jimmy Reed analogy for this high school reunion just did it. Right here, Jimmy Reed. Not who you think they are. They're more nervous about you than you are about them. Jimmy Reed might be. Right, of course. He know in high school he was the shit. He was handsome. Big head of hair. Ten pack abs. Could swing a baseball bat. Home run Jimmy, they called him. Look at him now. He looked like he lived in a van behind a laundromat and he worked at the laundromat. You know, I mean, and it's not even a successful laundromat. All right. Something you don't know about this person's energy. Now, hang man. Somebody's hiding something here. Somebody's not who you think they are. Proof. Well, you want proof. This is about perspective. I mean, I read the energy first, then I throw the cards. I'm spot the fuck on. And I hope you follow my analogies and catch my drift. This energy is holding you back. I think for a lot of you, this is a, a friend, a family member, somebody who, I don't know. It's, I wish this was a reading. A reading like this, I wish was, I was just doing for one person. I wish. Because I, I could put my finger on who this motherfucker is and tell you exactly what to do with him. Okay? Tell you exactly what to do. Break away. I mean, they're not who you think they are. They're not. If it's somebody giving you advice, they're giving you advice that benefits them. Okay? That benefits them. It's what I said about my kid analogy. I said it benefits the kid to stay home till they're 40. Right? It doesn't help you. It doesn't help your growth, though. You know? Mommy got a life, too. You know? Wants to have a life as well. You know? Somebody over here, again, I don't think it's your kid. But I do think it's, 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 a, it's an energy that is stuck to you. And it's grown heavy. It's, it's preventing you from taking, to having some really amazing new beginnings. The Hermit and the Three of Pentacles is incredible. I mean, it's, it's like, that's, that's unreal. It's like if you start a business under that energy, it's like a business sanctioned by God. You know, it's unreal. Okay? So let's pull on this. Why is the hangman here? Tell me about this person. Let's see where we go. You ready? I got the little lights here, big lights here. Here. Let's do it. Let's pull them on screen. So we can see them for who they really are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. What's going on? Hangman. Why is it here? Nine of swords will come with it. You know, I'm really curious about something, too. I'm just about done shuffling. I saw the bottom card. I laughed. I need to see what's fueling this nine swords. Oh, yeah. Eight cups. Somebody's afraid to let go of your energy. They're afraid to let go. It takes eight. Eight. It takes bravery to walk away from eight broken. This, there's a lot of bravery involved with this. Most people never walk away from eight broken cups. They don't. Most people are in horrible relationships because it's easier just to stay. They don't. They're lazy. It's too much where I'd have to move my couch. Well, my couch is here. I'll stay here. People don't even move because their couch is somewhere. Lazy. But it takes bravery. Somebody here not brave enough to, to release your energy. Ah. 
I don't think this is somebody you're hoping to hear from. I don't think it's your runner or something like that. This is someone else you have a soul connection with. This is like a friend that gives you it every time you say, oh, I want to go on and do this, blah, 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 blah. They talk you out of it. Or they just, you feel like you can't leave because if you leave, then this person's going to harm themselves or something. Or this person's going to do something crazy. Oh, without me, this person will fall apart and all that. you got to stop thinking like that. You do. You know, unless you're legally obliged to hang with this, that's fine. But it's okay. But I don't think that's the case here. I don't have that. All right. What's on? What's the bottom card I laughed at, by the way, is the Knight of Pentacles. Um, they could go, but they're not. It's an energy. This, this, my asshole could be going faster, but he's walking, yet he's got a racehorse, right? They could go, but just taking their time. The energy won't go away. What's on top? See, eight swords. Afraid. Look at look at all look at this person. That. 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 Right. Afraid. Not no bravery. Right? That that's cross the eight of cups is crossing that. So the environmental en energy is it's time for the time to release your energy. Oh, I don't know. Oh, oh, I don't know. Right? It's like an escalation. It's on crack here. They're doing it to themselves, they're keeping themselves stuck. Somebody holding out hope that there's something for you, with you, maybe, or that you're going to always be around. You know, these days, is anybody ever really gone? I can't even escape people I went to high school with because of Facebook and shit. I mean, people aren't really gone, are they? There's like nowhere you can go where you can't reach somebody. I think you can even get cell service now on top of Everest. For God's sake, so many goddamn tourists are going up there to climb the thing. It's like no big deal. You might as well, it's like climbing the loam hill behind your house now. All right, center card crossed by the uh, Knight of Pentacles. Mm. <sighs> the world. The world. Why is that important? You might remember it from such motherfucking positions as your center card. That's why. Mm. You. This is very clear, you guys. Look, you just got to catch my drift. And I'm talking about, I'm going to use the kid analogy again. You changing your world, your world, you're in a new energy, your energy is a higher vibration, you're ready to move on from whoever this is. But that changes their world in a drastic way and they're doing everything they can to slow that down, including not riding the horse. We're going to walk instead. Yeah, but it's a racehorse. We'll walk instead. Okay? That's exactly what I said. You are have this energy attached to you. It's becoming a burden because you're ready to launch. You're ready. You're high vibration. You've raised your vibration. You're ready to go. And you changing your world affects this person. So they slowing your change down as fast as they can. What's red with eight swords? The strength card. Oh, that's a fucking laugh. That's a laugh and a half right there. guilt trip. It's a guilt trip. This is a lot of passion attached to this card. It's Leo. It's passionate forward movement. But Leo energy. Leos are the drama queens of the Zodiac. Leos are the fucking actors. The great actor of the Zodiac. The attention lovers. I had a Leo roommate for a lot of years. I, I, my life is surrounded by Leos. I know them well. Oft, I love them. Don't get me wrong. Okay? But you often have to placate them sometimes. Maybe not you. It depends on their chart makeup. I had a roommate for five years that was a fucking Leo. And just to make him feel like a big man every once in a while, I'd have to pretend I was short on the rent. Oh, and he'd give me a big lecture about it. Well, don't let this happen again. You know, uh, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just pretending because I know that when he, feels, when he feels good, he's easier to live with. So I listened to his fucking lecture. And I said, I'll get it to you in a couple of days, I promise. It's right there in my fucking pocket, right? But this is that kind of Leo energy. It might not be you if you're a Leo, and don't get me wrong, I love Leos, okay? It's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying, you know, all you all know I love the Leo soap opera, but I'm just saying. It's this energy of guilt trip. There's a lot of passion thrown into this Eight of Swords. It's a big act. The universe is saying this, this girl, look at her. Male or female, that's your person. It's an act. Oh, please don't go. Please don't change. 
please don't go off, right? This can be a parent that doesn't want you to leave and guilt trips you. This can be that you have a soul connection with. So a family member of some kind. This can be a friend that keeps talking you out of, oh, I got a chance to go and move to, I don't know, somewhere really awesome, Tokyo, and study Japanese shit. I don't know. And they're like, oh, you don't want to do that, Japanese shit. You know, you don't want to study that. You know, what? what? And you... Listen, somehow they find a way to guilt trip it so that you don't you don't make the change. Okay? Whatever it is. That's what's going on here. Now, you may not be here yet. This might be future influence for you, but this is a pretty important reading. This is the kind of shit that holds you back in life. This is a reading that my younger following should pay the fuck attention to. Okay? You can always go back later. Go out and have you some fucking adventures because this is someone who's cock-blocking adventures for sure. You will regret it. You do not want to land yourself in your 40s regretting what you didn't do. Okay, it's advice my father gave to me and I will pass it on out the line out to you. You make sure that when you're in your 40s you look back like I do in my 20s and while you made some mistakes you're pretty proud of the fact that you lived that shit you had some fucking adventures. You had your fun. All right? It's fine. Some people just have obligations and they stuck. That's fine. That, that's a separate issue. But I don't get whatever this is. I don't get any legal wranglings or anything like that. I just get some fucker overly dramatic guilt tripping. Right? It doesn't have to be a family member. It could be a friend. It could be. It could again be someone who's keeping a carrot at the end of a stick. This could be someone who's married and they're a soulmate, they're a runner, they say I have to be together but we're going to leave soon and then I'll come over to you and you're hanging on, you're putting your three of pentacles on hold until they whatever and it's getting old. The energy's getting old. Somebody's full of crap here. Okay? Could be that. I don't know. Whatever it is, it's a pretty important reading. Alright? It's a good lesson in life here. This is the kind of shit when I was young, er, I would have put I would have put a stop to immediately. I could spot this shit a mile away. Mm. All right, let's go. Mm. I had a lot of friends that did this before I left for California. I had friends who said you'll be back in two weeks. I'm gonna set up the couch for you. One of them even did. He set up a whole his den. He had a little couch in there and everything. He set it all up. He said two weeks you'll be back. You shouldn't have gotten rid of your apartment. You'll be back in two weeks. That's what he said. Yeah. It's been a little over a quarter of a century now. I wonder if that den is still set up. Actually, that house has been torn down that that den was in. They built a new house in its place. <laughs> so, again, you know, energies like this. That's just an example of an energy like this. How about you wish me luck? How about you say good luck, man? I hope you make it. If you don't, you know what? I got this couch here. But I think you're going to be good. How about that? How about that's your friend? Right? Your friends or soulmates, your true soulmates, the people that are useful to you are the people that support you. And whatever you're doing, that's who you want to look out for. This energy here, how do you release it? Well, what if you're like, Steve, I know who this is. How do I release it? I'll tell you how you release it. You talk to the universe. You do exactly what I say. You say it from the soul like a singer singing the fucking love song of the century. And you cry out to the universe out loud, I don't want this energy attached to me anymore. No. You just say, no. Or you yell, stop it. One or the other. Either or. The universe responds to either or. Crows tend to like stop it better. I always freak people out if the crows are making noise. I yell, stop it, and they stop. <laughs> it's always fun to do that. It's, a, it's one of my party tricks. Anyway, that's how you release it. You simply, but you got to say it with soul. You can't just say it with words. You got to mean it, right? All right, I'm pulling one more row here. Three cards and a crossing card. Mm. 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 Hermit. Mm. Hermit. It's on your side. Mm. Fool. What was I just talking about? Not the crow thing before that. <laughs> Smart ass. All right, four of wands. Look at your pull here. And the two of pentacles. 
I'm just going to paraphrase this shit. The Hermit crossing the Four of Wands. Next card is the Fool. And then red with the Two of Pentacles. That's how they're red. I'm going to paraphrase it. Don't let anybody cock block your forward movement. Don't let anybody knock you down a peg when you raise your vibration. This energy, whoever this is, you, you have a soul connection with it. It's different for all of you and it may or may not be your runner. I don't know. But it's damn fine advice right here from the universe and it's pretty fucking clear. Nobody gets in the way of your new adventures. And right now, Somebody here, it's heating up like a son of a bitch. Somebody here is spinning the wheels. This is that energy of uh, power braking with a car. What's power braking? You sit, usually you do it with an automatic. It doesn't work real great. You could do it with the e-brake on a, on a stick, but on an automatic, you just put it in drive, hit your brake, and then hit the gas too while you're stopped. And it just, it spins and spins and spins and smoke show and it doesn't go anywhere. But that's what's going on right now. We got the smoke show happening. It's time to release the fucking brake and take off like a fucking rocket. Okay? End of story. Your vibration is higher than this energy. It's time to sow your royal oats. Alright? Whatever it is. Whatever this is, it's time to release this burden. Tell the universe you want to. Whoever this is. And you may not know who this is right now. Don't freak out if you don't. You, you, you wouldn't need to rack your brain to figure out who this is. So it might be future influence for you. So bookmark the fucking reading. You're all moving at different speeds on your timeline. I'm simply, here at Steve Love Tarot, following the flow of the energy. Following the river. I'm in an inner tube. Steve called Steve Love Tarot inner tube. And we're floating down the river. Every reading I pull ties to the reading before it, which ties to the reading before it, etc., etc. Alright? Especially true with the soulmate journey readings, which there's a whole playlist of. That's your reading. I hope it was helpful. I truly do, especially if you're one of my younger viewers. Do not get to be my age, mid to late 40s, ugh, and regret your youth. Because that's youth is not to be wasted, and most people waste it. They really do. They really do. Don't waste it. That's your reading. I hope it was helpful. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. Good luck.